In this video, I will be showing you guys how to access your testnet wallet on the Bitcoin blockchain, a Bitcoin testnet wallet. Now, recently, the testnet has become very popular recently because of so many airdrops that are taking place on both Bitcoin or Ethereum, and you need to use faucets to basically get some testnet tokens. And for Ethereum, it's a little bit easier, but for Bitcoin, a lot of people have been struggling to make it work. They're like, oh, how does it work? And so on and so forth. So in this video, I'll show you guys how all that work. Um, you also have to understand why do we use testnet tokens or why testnet wallets now all of a sudden, and what is a testnet wallet? So a testnet wallet, or at least a testnet in the blockchain is a duplicate of the original blockchain but it's not as robust as the main network it's perfectly used for testing purposes of an activity on the blockchain so it's basically training you know you there is there's a difference between when football players are practicing for the game or training or they're going to camp and there's a difference between that and the stadium, the actual real event. You wouldn't want to train at the stadium every day. It's very expensive, inefficient. So for training purposes, developers use the testnet to develop the apps and send transaction and back and forth. And it doesn't cost money because the testnet tokens are basically free. They're not real money. It's basically in trading, it's a perfect um, it's perfectly related to, in trading, you can call it demo account. If you have used a demo account, it's, it feels like you're trading, but you're not actually trading. Anyway, uh, let's digress from that. So moving on, I will be using Unisat wallet in this example. Link to Unis Unisat is in the description below, but you can also go to unisat.io and download it. Once you go to Unisat, it should be appearing here. Okay, once you have it and you look into your browser, you can see here I have my Unisat app, my Unisat app, and mine here says Bitcoin testnet activated. All right, why is it saying that? Because yours is actually not saying that right now. And if you look at my wallet address here, it starts with TB1 instead of BC1. So yours currently starts with bc1 mine is tb1 so to switch on the testnet you basically go to the this settings icon and on network instead of live net basically this is what it looks like by default so you click this cog wheel go to network and switch to testnet and you can see now we have the TB1 wallet address. So you can now go to any faucets that you want to use. It can be any type of faucets. There are many different ones in which I'm, the next video will be how to use faucets or which, which faucets to use to claim your free Bitcoin. So in, in this example, I would simply just go to this faucet, click my, uh, copy my address, paste it here, and then I can say send test net bitcoin and boom i will have a balance in my wallet and then i can do some activities that will help me to get the airdrops that i need all right so stick around for the next video because it will surely help you to understand and learn how to now um sort of get more, get more faucets tokens and also how to game the airdrop mechanisms to end up with a lot more tokens than you would otherwise all right shout out to our sponsors and that is coin w coin w is a world-class cryptocurrency exchange and marketplace they list a lot of newer tokens they have etfs there that allows you to trade and maximize your gains and if you use our link in the description below to create an account you actually get some free bonuses to welcome you onto the platform that is free money that you can use by simply creating an account and making a deposit and start trading so use our link in the description below and thank you guys for watching see you next time